Well, remembering a young life tragically cut short in Lake County, a teen was riding his bike to school this morning when he was hit and killed by a school bus. The community used tonight's football game to honor the 17-year-old. New 6's Troy Campbell is live outside Lake Mineola High School tonight. Troy. Well, right now we're standing right where that teen was hit and killed. There's a growing memorial here tonight showing those flowers. Now across town at East Ridge High School, the football team and students honored his life. 17-year-old Lake Mineola senior Sherman Vinoy passed away today from injuries suffered in a terrible traffic accident. Moments before kickoff, students and staff at Monday night's football game held a moment of silence for 17-year-old Sherman Vinoy. If you would please at this moment, bow your heads and join us in a moment of silence as we honor the life and spirit of our fellow student and friend, Sherman Vinoy. Florida Highway Patrol says Vinoy was hit and killed while riding his bicycle near the entrance of Lake Mineola High School on Hancock Road at Fox Trail Avenue in the Mark Pedestrian Crosswalk at 6.50 a.m. Monday as he headed to school. Troopers say the school bus that struck the teen was driven by a 78-year-old Lake County school bus driver who had been employed with the district for almost a year. Lake County says the driver was devastated by the crash and remained at the scene. Investigators say the bus driver struck this fence attempting to avoid hitting Vinoy and only had one student on the bus at the time of the crash. She actually got a text message on her phone from some friends and then of course we got a call from the school also to let us know what happened. Parent Kim Shinaki says her daughter is an 11th grader at Lake Mineola High School. She says the entire county often comes together during times of tragedy like this one. I think Lake County schools are all like one community and when one area mourns, they all mourn. So the same with the school, even though you know they weren't on the football team, the student body is really strong. One hawk from Mama Hawk last year and they care about each other. So. That parent also expressed concern about this crash because last November, a 14 year old student at this school was on his way in the morning and was hit and killed by a hit and run driver. FHP says this crash remains under investigation. Live in Claremont tonight, Troy Campbell getting results in New Six.